Hey, hey, hello and welcome to Evelyn Slide. I'm loving like, um, Mark that uh, funky lounge Love music. It. You know what I mean? I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying it. Uh, so yeah, so welcome to this 30th of July 2021. Hello, my name's Spiff, and joining me back once again, like the Renegade Master, D4 Damage Your Power to the People. Back once again with his ill behaviour, his ill behaviour, his ill behaviour. Mr. Mark Watson, good to have you back, mate. Good, good to be back. Excellent. So what have we got lined up for you today, ladies and gentlemen? Well, first of all, weather news. Uh, last week, Multo Scorchio, red hotness. And today, uh, just sort of wetty, drizzly, fizzly. Moist and drizzly. It's still quite warm, man. It is, it is warm. Um, but yeah, so I'm, I'm completely mistimed. Uh, I was going to do my lawn last week, mm. mow it, but I thought, no, because I won't, because it'll scorch. And now I left it too it's long. I left it too late. So but it'll, that's, it'll do well. It, it will, I. It will, I. like the rain, it'll suffer. And uh, my it. lovely pears that are hanging from each tree, okay. they'll uh, they'll absorb the moisture. They you know what I mean? So they need that. Anyway, so that's so, why they See the pear tree outside the log cabinet, Ephraim? It, it starts to get pears every year, and then aye. it seems to get got by the wind. Well, I, on my pear news, by the way, it's the first time in what, three years. They're actually just like these gnarly, stubby things. But this year, they're actually pear-shaped. So I'm, I'm open for a, for a good load. So well, my apple trees, all between all of them, I've got right. about six or seven. I've got one and a bit apples. I say a bit because right. one looks a bit deformed. Uh, ah, you know what you mean, eh? It's probably, I'll probably let it grow, <laughs> but I won't eat it. <laughs> no, no, just look at it. Anyhow, so the weather sorted, and I think it's much of the same this for the next few days. Uh, equipment check, have I got my bits of paper? Yes. Double-sided, ladies and gentlemen. Have I got my pen? Well, yes, I have. Thanks to Mark, because I left mine over in purple mm. bubble, so that's my ink pen. And I've got a little something to wet me with, so. Cheers. Cheers. So, first of all, ladies and gentlemen, I will go through the agenda. What's the agenda, Spiff? I'll tell you. The agenda is a list of things we should be talking about and showing you and sharing with you today. So, first up, we will have the news, information and thanks. We will then follow that with the Art Stroke Activity Showcase Extreme, Extreme to the max. max. This week featuring, ladies and gentlemen, Olympic Madness, the Great British Rudolf Delayed, Flowers, the Undersea World, and Jet Fighters. Ethics. Well, you don't have to say that, Mark. You know what I mean? I wasn't a big it up. But yeah, so we've got a bit of that. And then we've also got the welcome return of the Heathlands Habitats. That's mm. the Heathlands Habitats. I was say, because we haven't used the footage for no. a few weeks. It's like, There's I, lots. I couldn't show it all. So no. I edited like two weeks yeah, of down into... 10 minutes. But it'll still be a great watch, Mark. Yeah. Uh, and then we've got a few, very few shout-outs, because most folk are back on him. Um, and that's about that for today. So we before... the shout out for people that are here if they want it. We can do, eh? We can do. Uh, so before that, ladies and gentlemen, we shall open up the portal to you all out there in the bubbles, out of home, across the Heathlands footprint, as we give you a screen peep. Mark, who the hell have we got? Oh, yeah, and what the hell do they want? Let's have a look. Let's have a look. So in first... Aye. We have a Mr. Aiken. Hello there. Welcome, Michael. Mr. Michael, Michael. Aiken. And I'm watching you like a hawk. Good to have you. Yeah. Then we got Mrs. Donna Pike White. Oh, hello, Donna. Hello from the Purple Bubble. The Purple Bubble. The Purple Bubble, of course, is the, the bubble de mauve. where the magic happens. Yeah, uh, Bubble de Mauve. Eh? Le Mauve. Le Mauve. 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 I don't know. De Mauve. Frankly. <laughs> Then we have Catherine Tuck saying afternoon. All right there, Catherine, how are you doing all right, lass? And Matthew Beatty saying hello, Spiffin' Mark. Right then, here we go. Now, I don't know if you've been noticing over the past couple of weeks, uh, Mark, I've been going mm -hmm. multilingual. Uh, uh, a few uh, couple of weeks ago, I did the old Japanese last week. I did, uh, what did I do? Arabic. Arabic. So today, I'm going to move on. I'll tell you what it is at the end. So, hola, Matthew. Espero que voce costando Dimda Uma Alhada, which is, of course, Portuguese for. All right, Matthew, hope you're right. I hope you're enjoying having a dinks. There you go. So that's Portuguese out. I'm trying to think what. Welsh. Oh, it would be bad for me, though. Do you know what? I'll try what? I'll on. try Welsh and I'm going to write this down. Right, then we have Heathland saying hello, all, which I take it up. Oh, tell him. Oh, right, yeah. Right, Helen. Right. Oh, God, just the whole building has become possessed. Yeah. And saying hello. So hello. Um, that's Sarah Farmer saying. Hi, Heathens. What have you had for lunch? Oh! are you going to have for lunch? Oh, Sarah's snuck in there. You can't have both answers. You can't have both. I'll give you So what do you have for your lunch, Mark? Uh, I had Aye. Asda's own Ooh. 
chicken Caesar wrap. Oh, very nice. It was. Well, I yeah, I sort of did this a similar. Well, I had chicken in it. Um, I did a, a roasted a, a chicken breast in mm. on papillot yesterday with some nice spices. I shredded that with mayonnaise sauce. I mean, shallot sauce, like that sort of thing. Um, and I put a bit of lettuce in. Mm. There you go. I'm not. I'm not ashamed to say it, man. I know. It's very tasty. You've changed. Actually. Biff, you've changed. I know. I don't know who I am anymore. <laughs> right. Then we've got Mr. Alan Henshaw. Henshaw. Bonjour, Alan. Alan. <laughs> Hello, Spiffy and Mark. Hello there. From the Green Bubble. From the Green Bubble or the Bubble Vert. Bubble Vert. There you go. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Then Education. Catherine took back in. Hold on. Nurt, I've got washing on the line. Oh, oh no, man. We'll get it in sorry. right now. It's not a get drying day. Right. I don't know what you were thinking. It's sometimes nice to leave your washing rain and let it dry out again because you get oh. a nice freely. Oh, I don't, I don't trust it. Do you not act well? I guess so. Aye. Aye. It's all a bit then foisty. Alan back in with oh, what have you have? What are you having for dinner tonight? Hello, I'm open for the takeaway, but I'm open Ooh. to offers. That's it. <laughs> Whatever you sell. Offers of what? Is anything. anything, really. I'm not a, I'm not a pro man. I'm unsure tonight. Um, right. Things could be happening. I don't know. Things could be happening, Mark. It's just like that's like know. you haven't heard a mystery. It's I just come out. I'm an open boo. Well, I don't know. Is the top and bottom? Right. I don't. It could be so. something nice. It could, might not be. Could be something rubbish, eh? You know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but right, so cheers for that. Depends on other variables. It does, doesn't it? There's lots of variables. Lots of variables there. There we have Matthew Beatty with. Oh no. I just had sweet chili wraps for my dinner. Oh, it's a nice one, nice. man. Tidy. Hey, yeah. And Matthew, just by the by, I don't know if you'll be aware of this, Mark. Um, he's uh, he's doing the mash. He's away off to Corfu for two weeks. Right, he so is tonight, you know, he's off to Edinburgh tonight. Aye. And then I presume he's flying to point tomorrow. 38 degrees it's going to be, that's too warm for me. But he was shown as... Well, uh, he was peaking 30 last week here. Nice. That, that was hot. Aye. He was shown as, we, we had a bit deeks on Monday, Mark, we were uh, He was shown as some lovely little tavernas, mm -hmm. which is basically Greek, Greek, Greek for boozer. And there's this lovely one, it's kind of like overlooking the flight path. Well, not overlooking, but you know what I mean? So you keep, you've got the sea in that, the and the, the plane's coming in while he's having a cheeky little shandy there. I think it'd be So I'm there, proper jealous. So, no, I have a, good, a brilliant time, Matthew, mate. And then we have Helen back here with nuts. I'm missing Heathland's habitat. Well, oh. you're not missing it. You'll get to see it. Of course you will. Unless yeah. you're going somewhere. Yeah. Be, I don't know. Yeah. He's talking shandy, isn't he? Um, uh, yeah. Paul W. Major with Hello, Spiff and Mark. Hello there, Paul, Paul, my man. And then Jeanette Fisher. Hi. With... Hello, peeps from Fisher Arms. Hello. So we'll do the show. I had a prawn and oh. salad oh. and yogurt for my lunch. No, Phil. Phil. All mm. oh, right, Jeanette. All right, Jeanette. <laughs> we'll get it back in a book for eight seconds. Yeah. Uh, well, there's a 20 second gap. There is, I guess. The, 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 the Catherine took back in with Give Scots Gaelic a gospel. Oh, what? Right. A Walsh of Gaelic. Ah, oh, there we go. We've got the reply yeah. from Jeanette. <laughs> Thank you. Gaelic. I, and I'll, what I'll do is I'll absolutely strangle uh, that language, but I'll yeah. give it a go. I'll give it a go, Catherine. How's that? Cool. Go for a go for a Canadian. What? <laughs> just an accent. This is just an accent. Huh? I did cock me gangster. And Heathens, I've had a croissant smoked streak streaky. Here we go. I've go had a croissant. It. Aye. Smoked streaky bacon stotty. Aye. That's a bit flush, that. Oh, Any sauce in there? Any moist? Constant smoked streaky. Oh, I, can, I can't say You've that. just, just let it go. Just let it go. Sounds good, though. Matthew, yeah. in with going to Edinburgh tonight's Biff. Spot on. Lovely. Yes. Lovely. And Catherine with. Oh, God, that's a hard word. Right. Is she, is she... Charcuterie. 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 Aye. Like a bit of charcuterie. It's, uh, it's, it's posh foreign for Aye, butchers. Right. Bits and bombs. Aye. Salamis and that. I've got a gourmet charcuterie selection. From, uh, for, did you get that from Aldi? Because I got one. You've got that nudgy of pace and all that. And these little sort of tiny bits of bread. And oh, salamis. Sorry. There's only a couple of pun. Uh, Catherine asking Helen what she's having for tea. Blimey. And last in, Jeanette. Aye. I'm on my own tonight. So oh. I don't know what I'm having for Take away then. Take away. I, it will involve wine. That's all right. I right. I get to... Uh, Get yourself sorted. Wine and takeaway. So, exactly. Uh, so that's, that's uh, it for now. That's it for now. So thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Keep them coming. So I've got a bit to go on here. So first of all, news. Uh, so first of all, um, at the return of the Mr. Stephen Woodburn this week, Mark. 
Hi, so he was cutting to see him. He's, he's chair... already had his chair valeted. Exactly. I know, and and uh, patched up. Yeah. That was only within the, the first day. So it was absolutely, I mean, I see him quite regularly, Mark, you know, living in uh, luxury Pentus apartments in deepest, darkest old Haddaby with his extensive grounds, of course. But uh, so Steve was just around the corner. But it was great to see him on site and he, he looked to be having a whale of a time. He does. He um, yeah, like so we've sorted his chair out already. Got all the crumbs out and whatnot and fixed bits and bobs up. Nice one. Steve, what else have we got? Now we've got a couple of birthdays to mention. We've got, uh, well, we've got one on Sunday. Somebody's going to be turning 64, our very own Mr. Clive Rhodes. Oh, He'll yeah. be uh, celebrating you know, the, the, uh, the Belle Francais. Uh, so a big old happy birthday, Clive, if you're watching. And even if you're not watching, happy, happy birthday. birthday. Uh, we've also got one of our one of our own again, who turns 55 on Wednesday. It's my nemesis, it's Mr. David Smart. Right. 55, and he uh, informs me that he's going to be having the stuff and all that, and uh, he's uh, sort of also there, uh, laying on a, a sort of party food-based buffet Ooh. for the gentleman, so that's good. Uh, what, have I, what, have I got? what have I got? As always, again, big massive thank you to all the staff who are working on site, behind the scenes, doing stuff at uh, Heaplands of Home, doing all the bids, more than that, very soon. Um, so a massive thank you to you all. And a big thank you to all of you who partake of our sort of live and recorded Heaplands at Home output across the Heaplands footprint, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to keep saying it will become actually entrenched yeah, yeah. in our... In our You're going to keep saying it until other people... I'm, know. I'm going to keep saying it and it will become a thing and we'll eventually have it in our mission statement across the Heaplands footprint. Do you know what I mean? Uh, it could be also a, a six-part miniseries. I'm, I'm willing to do it to Amazon or Sky. Let the bidding wars, bidding, bidding wars start now. Uh, so, ah, yes, so... Speaking of uh, bids and stuff, the, all these things go on behind the scenes, ladies and gentlemen. The things, the, the bids to, 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 to give you this, to give you the Heathlands at home things. This, and I'd like to say a big massive uh, well done to Mr Nick Robinson, who secured uh, 10 grand for the old botcha. Remember that, man? For, for the Botcha League. The Botcha League, yes. So it started off uh, tentatively, the first little experimental botchiness this coming Tuesday. So we're actually going to be taking people uh, from one bubble off site up to the sort of Hannaby community centre. They give it a fancy name now. But the, the sort of area up yeah, Hannaby. It's got two weeks off and then, yeah, then straight we're back through till Christmas. Straight through till Christmas with one week off for somewhere. Like. So it'd be really great to start that up again and a big old massive well done to, to you, Nick, for. For getting that all sorted. So yeah, so it's gonna start with just obviously us. And then as things get a bit more relaxed, hopefully and whatever, there'll be other groups joining. So yeah. those of you remember, you know, it used to be us playing, uh, there'd be a team from James or any, there'd be a team from who did we used to have? There was like a men cap team, maybe, you know, yeah, things like that. That's the, right, yeah, yeah. So yeah, obviously we're, we're we're the sort of we're starting it off. Trinity not have a team as well. I think they did, uh, so it'd be great to, to start that back. What else have I got on my news? Um, building news, this, I don't think there's that much. Uh, I should have layers with Mike. I believe he's still waiting on plumbers and things. Yeah, uh, I was in the park having the other day, the new one. It's yeah. Looking really good. It's, it's just it is, uh, lacking all of the added tech, which I'll be doing over the next week, aye. and the plumbing. I think we've... Uh, did we not get... I think this the, the the start of this week, Mark, I think we had the the boys from Gemini in sort of sort yeah, of the all, actual... Yeah, all of the... the the boxes in there, Internet, nothing, sorry, nothing's fully set up. Yeah, and all the cabling's in there. Just needs to move to bolts and TVs Brilliant. put on the yeah. wall, computers. So maybe a few weeks and that. So it's uh, yeah, so it's nice little space. It's nice the space. plumbing that's going to hold things up. Aye, aye, because uh, you know we can put it with most most things, but we need to go to the toilet. You know you can't hold that in. Um, right, so I think unless you've got anything, Mark, um, that's uh, the end yeah, of it for the for the news well. broadcast for now. So I think what we'll do is, Mark, if it's good with you, we'll have a bit spy on the old uh, portal and see if we've got any old screen pipes. Oh, here we go. I've got out. Right, so where we up to last time? Ah, I can't mind now. It's all a blur. Right. So we've got Heather Dobson. So Hi, hello. The last with Mark. Hello. Hello, Heather. Good to see you from here. Heather Dobson back in with, are you going to get tipsy tonight, Jeanette? Oh, that's fresh. Oh, yeah, yeah, answer. it's on the way. Well, yeah, you know, sometimes we can get tipsy and sometimes we get extra tipsy, if you know what I mean. And imagine she will. Yeah, she'll be in a relaxed state. And that's it for now. We okay. get a reply from Jeanette. That's all right. Okay. Oh, no, Heather, oh. Heather Buckingham. Oh, last, she's in. Last she's in. 
going back to the conversation oh, from the other not. day. No, we're question. not going to go with that. I don't know where it's About again. dreams. Oh, here we go. Right. Wouldn't a dream about a gory horror film Did you? be a nightmare for you, Spiff? No, because I know it's a dream. There yeah. we go. I'm just saying because I've never had a nightmare. And she won't have it. Do you know what I mean? Oh, is that where it goes? Yeah, so I'm just like, oh, yeah, well, it was a gory thing. Uh, I have dreams that it, uh, upset me, but that's not a nightmare. Anyway, moving on oh, from psychoanalysis and dream things, nightmare, let's crack on, shall we? Uh, so that, that, oh, in from Jeanette, oh, before we go. Yeah. No, she will be drinking responsibly. I find that very hard to believe, but thank you very much <laughs> for that. You know, I mean, you're lying to yourself, Jeanette. If you want to, you know, lying to us is one thing, lying to yourself is another. Anyway, so we're cracking on. Uh, we had a, an unbroken, unbridled uh, sort of crack, and I'd say so. I think we'll go for the old uh, showcase. So I don't know about oh, you. Okay. About this time of day on a Friday, Mark, I like to sit back, relax, and take a deep breath as I introduce this week's Art Stroke Activity Showcase Extreme to the Max. This week featuring Olympic Madness, the Great British Rudolph Postponed, Flowers, the Undersea World, and Jet Fighters. Here we go. What have we got? And new, you see, on Monday, I don't know if you know, me and, uh, me and Mafia, we went in our helicopter. And we went straight up into the sky and we took this uh, lovely picture of, uh, well, yeah. it's gone now, Red Adders. Oh, and that's uh, a Europe, there it is there. So you got that one? Aye. Right. And we've got the old Euro fighter there. The you can see that. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. That's a close up. There's, and you can see how fast it was going, Mark. It's a bit blurry. And then just as it was, boom, just like flew past us, rocking about in our helicopter, because yeah. he put the afterburners on. So, so that is actually yeah. an airfix model. That, uh, and then I um, found this little bit of footage afterwards. Oh, no. Very... Oh, hey, look at that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> I'm enjoying that, by the way. Action. What we should. Highway to the Gainsy Salmon. Very old Top Gun and that Maverick. Yeah, look at that. It's brilliant. <laughs> well done, Mark. That's fantastic. Yeah. So me and Matthew did a bit of the old uh, airfix model. Here is the Undersea Adventures of the Undersea World. I was talking about the old uh, Chris P in the place to be. And he's having a, a whale of a time. Ooh. Yeah. Um, Ooh. All right, so this is like an Undersea vibe going on in the UI. I can see crabs. Oh, well, I see a doctor. Hi. You can see a doctor about see that. See starfish. Hi, again. <laughs> um, move on. Snake. Yeah. Well, so well, this, well, uh, there's a few things going on. Um, Joy's halfway through doing a sort of uh, thing of your bob with that. So I'll show that next week. See, hey, this one though Jameson. was labelled uh, the Red Fox, but I believe Emma oh, told me I, it was a Red Panda. Hi, hi. But you're more red, red pandas aren't actually pandas, are they? They well, are. So it's just like a different type of it's, it's raccoon, beast. Right? I like a raccoon thing, yeah, but they look tidy. It's a really good bit of work. I don't know what one. Yeah, it? cracks them out. And foxes have longer noses. And black ones. Hi. We'll, we'll learn that later in the Ooh. thing. Here we go. It's Olympic Madness, ladies and gentlemen. It is. We just won some more medals overnight. BMX. You know what I mean? I wouldn't have thought that would have been a thing when I was a kid, but it's great to see it, actually. Yeah, so some of the medals that are coming out are kind of um, niche. It, yeah, they're very niche. Yeah. You know, they're broad, broad in the nets, are you? So he is joy. Tiddlywinks isn't there. Uh, it, it should be, yeah. Or fanning in the boots. I'm yeah. global champion of that, ladies and gentlemen. So there's joy. Uh, look, it was sunny then. <laughs> um, and yes, yeah, so she's done... Uh, a trio of uh, Olympic medals. Bronze, silver and gold. Aye. Really good. Well, well done. Here we go. Here's the old panel. It's the pink whale. It is a whale. Do you know what I was trying to work out there, and I? And I, I'm, do, you know what, do you know what really impressed me about this one? <laughs> go on. I, I, I had a screen before when I was editing. I blew yeah. it up. There is not one single sticker missing off this one. I don't believe that. Are you sure? Yeah, there's nothing Aye. coloured in. I couldn't in see that one. case, Farrell. Unless I've missed it. Well done. Some round of applause. Well, well done. There. There you go. It looks very much uh, computer graphic style, doesn't it? Does. it? Does. You know what I mean? The old polygons. Hello, what's going on here? It's, it's, uh, That's Chris, the previously saw way. It is, right? It's, uh, you get a sense of scale there. So this is previously. <laughs> you are? Uh, this is previously to the other photo. I think it's oh, previous, isn't it? Oh, he stole it and he's run away with it. Could, could him. He's made off with it. Made light with it on his on his feet there, but it's a good bit of work. That oh, we'll oh, enjoy so. it again. Hello, you. Back again. Here we go. No, that's ever with uh, some a thing. It's a foil it's picture. Isn't foil. It? Foil. It's foily. Um, kind of gives me a, a sting. You can't, you can't see foil. the 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 shimmer. Yeah, you, the can't, you can't see how much impact it is there. Aye, but yeah. uh, it is. It's it's a lovely lovely bit of bit of work. I think from what you was telling me, you kind of layer it up with foil, don't you? Oh, that's right. It's one of them. Not scratchy, but you know what I mean. 
But uh, obviously, and she took the time as well, you know, and it shows ever so well done. No, then. Hello, oh, Olympic rings. Madness again. There's uh, there's uh, Vicky on the loft. Rings, the, uh, the is that, oh, there we go. The uh, sort of the uh, rings of the Olympic it's, flag. She's just finished the green there. I think she that has, right. Again, I'll give you give you an Olympic fact. I think I've, I did this last week, but if, if I do, I don't care. The the rings, the colours, are that, those colours because every single flag or globally has at least one of those colours in. That's oh. why they chose those colours. So either Vicky decided to have one nail varnished or right. when she was doing the red, she decided to colour her nails. Well. I think maybe the second option is probably the most valid one there, Mark, in mm. that, uh, that uh, thing. And she's actually on the pen as well. Hello, as well. Thanks to him. On the, the, it looks like the old. It's like the old having a, a gun with the weight lifting here, doesn't it, aye? Well, uh, so we've got, yes, there's a lot of, been a lot of colour and in gun on. Look yeah. at that. He's pointing at his ring, yeah, so to speak. Tokyo, there you go. 2021. Tokyo 2021. It's still actually Tokyo 2020. It's like they did with the Euros, isn't it? Yeah. You know what I mean? Historians will get confused in the years' time. And there's Abby. She's got a whole thing. These, I don't know if there's a picture of this, but it's obviously you can see stuff there. there. There's, there's, there's the rings, there's the Olympic torch and that. But this week I've been seeing she's doing. a diver? Is it what now? Diver. Probably. Or maybe just having a suit. A couple of people having a fight. Diver beekeeper suit. Or maybe skiing. Aye. Aye. Or oh, beekeeping. That's probably in there this <laughs> year. Do you know what I mean? That's beekeeping. Uh, but yeah, but Abby's also been doing a, uh, like, stitching the Olympic torch thing. Oh. So we'll have a look at that maybe next week as well. Flowers oh. from uh, Alan Enshaw. Oh, okay. In his back passage uh, uh, yard, oh, whatever. Okay. Um, so I've got, this is from this is another Abbey one. She sent this one in, kind of little, a little wee fairy. Yeah, this this is like you think, you think you used to get where you put beads in and you put it under the other belt into clear plastic. It's very good, by the way. It's tidy that, like actually, yeah. Well done, well done. Uh, this about? is a sock dog puppet you think, and she tells us the name. Oh, no, no. Emma Davidson did it. She sent us that in. Emma, I've forgotten the name. Can you? Is it Spot? I think it could be. I think it could be, Mark. I think you're right on the money there, yeah. Um, no, but it's like, I know we got, because uh, I couldn't, for, for some reason, the picture didn't go up next week. But this was a couple of weeks ago, Joe, with the uh, Great British Rudolph, and I forgot what they were. I'm sure it's something like Plum and Apricot yeah, Slime. Yeah, it looks like, like that. But it looks nice and moist, you know what I mean? Yeah, like it looks nice to be on top and moist in the middle. That's what you want, huh? Mm. That's what you want, huh? So you know, you don't them rock really hard and you don't them sloppy, yeah, but that's oh, the best word. So well back. done, ladies and gentlemen. So a big massive thank you to all of you guys for producing all that work on site and for sending it in, um, you know, from, from home and stuff, across the heap and stuff. I'm doing it again, I'm doing it again. We're just going to keep doing it. Right, so, yeah. So, no, but really, seriously, it's massively appreciate all, all the work you do uh, on site. just brightens the place up. And I'm loving that, you know, even though sort of, you know, the whole lockdown things, you know, I've been a bit sad in that. But we've always done that sort of thing. There's always an idea. There's always a theme. And we're regularly yeah, always, changing. It's always like a theme of the week, isn't it? Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because um, there's always something going on. You know, obviously in the, in the summer, there's like a lot of sport and that. And then when that's all over and done with, when we're moving on to sort of thinking about autumn. Yeah, well, we've got Halloween. <laughs> oh, that's true. Aye. Fire night. Aye. Daniel Christmas. And then, oh, I know. We're wishing all lives, whoever. So a big, massive thank you to all of you who produced all that lovely work. Uh, yeah, both at much. home and on site. Excellent. So, she will have a dig at the screen, see if there's out there for the screen. Do the screen see if there's any crack or any questions. I'm sure there will be. There may be, will I? So, the last one was Ever. Jeanette's oh, no, drinking Jean responsibility. Oh, aye, that's it. Well, I poured scorn on it, didn't I? Yeah. So, ah. Uh -huh. Heather, this is to Jeanette. Oh, by the way, being a bit tipsy. It's okay, Jeanette. It is. Just accept it. Is. It, it go just accept. Just go, you know, just go with the floor. Yeah. You know? There we if, go. If you, if you order something like a pizza, it could soak up the alcohol. It's exactly, you know, I call, I call it a protein sponge, you know, just mm. if they got the meat there, you know, so it kind of works for me. Then we have Jeanette Fisher with, oh, she's replying to Heather. Oh, I, having a conversation just have a her. private convo, why don't you? That's when I'm on my own, oh, I tend to do stupid things. Oh, see that? See, no, that's piqued me interest, Mark. Yes. Do you know what I mean? Your definition of stupidity, what is it? Well, any time will tell. Mm. I'll look for the court reports on Monday, Jeanette. Yeah. <laughs> you're on a rampage. You're One woman rampage, don't watch you get. There you go. Yeah, four calls at 11. <laughs> you don't see what it's like when I'm drunk. Aye. Dick's rounding in. Uh, Christy. As a last name yeah. from Helen Duck. Aye. 
Red pandas are oh. also known as red cat bears. Cat bear, and I like more that. closely related to raccoons. That's the boy. Actual pandas. Yeah, aye. Right. Aye. I like the look of them. Eh? The look is it's some of these animals you know you want to be intelligent, as in you can have a conversation with them. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Just so I could understand, I'd want to find out what its accent is. What's that called? Is that called empomorphizing? No, anthropomorphizing. I got that out of water. Well, ladies and gentlemen, a big round of applause for me on that one. Uh, Interesting stuff. Anthropom. See, now I'm thinking about it. Anthropomorphizing. Yeah. It's basically saying, giving something. A uh, human trait, you know what I mean? Like happens it, a lot in cartoons, doesn't it? The does or, or objects, you know what I mean? You know, like teapots chuntering on in Disney films and that. You know what I mean? Anyway, that's by the by. Um, so, so oh, oh, quick one, oh, one just gone by top fan Catherine Tuck because it tells us who's a top fan. It does, doesn't it? I you like crown us it. They're very shy creatures too. Ah, give them a couple of drinks. Yeah, we'll be sure. on a ramp, Edge. Jeanette, get your salute tonight on the lash. <laughs> With a few uh, red, pandas. red pandas and uh, and Send film, film it, film it, and it's a whole new show, a whole new segment of the show. Jeanette Gans Raj with this week <laughs> red pandas, <laughs> uh, and the, the closing shot is there uh, getting arrested by the RSPCA. Yeah. Just like the shaky cameras and shots. I'd love it, like found footage. Get and it, get I'm going. I'm, I'm, I'm running with it too far, Mark. I need to get myself back in the room. Yeah. Um, right. Okay. So it's been a while, ladies and gentlemen, a few weeks and that. Uh, but this, that doesn't uh, stop all the the activity, the old sort of natural uh, stuff that no, goes nature, on. Life goes on. Life does go on. Um, so all around Heathlands, as we showed you a few weeks ago, we've got lots of sort of animals gunning about. So Mark's going to queue up now uh, the the old Heathlands habitat. Yeah, so it's about ten minutes. Yeah. So you know, have a dick and we'll have a drum some, some of the videos have got audio and there's some nice animal sounds oh, in there. But oh, nice. Obviously, the photos don't. So no, no, no. But we'll have a dick and we'll, we'll talk you through it. Here we go. Cam one, it says. Come on, with a little fox in there in the corner. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, this is the, the first camera. Oh, yeah. It's camera one. Yeah. And this is more of a, a, a run through for animals, kind of. Yeah. Animals seem to walk backwards and forwards. Yeah. Through. Oh, that was where. Daddy. There's a squirrel. Where? Yeah. Can't see him. Oh, no, I'm right now. Oh, there he is now. Doing the nash. Scrapping the boot. Yes, I was saying Smith before. We had about half an hour of footage of squirrels. Uh, They're very active down there. Yeah. Uh, so this is down at the Burks. So Need a motor. Oh, All right, you're right. Hello, oh, look at him. Oof. He looks like that's like some crime. Much doesn't he? Also, always look at the camera directly. Oh, don't you? Yeah. So they must sense something, eh? Oh, Mr. Deer. Hello. He's looking directly at the camera. Yeah. Oh, oh there's the box. Yeah. Nice See, one. there's more photos from this car yeah. camera than videos because a lot of the videos were just all you've seen was the bum disappearing yeah. in the distance. Yeah. Oh, he's having a little soft pose with eat that thing there. So do they eat then? I mean, obviously, you know, we know they eat chickens and that, but they eat, uh, well, like lot mice and rats and that as well. So there's a bird there, if you can see. I can see in the. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Here we are, there's the Fox's bum again. Oh, he's away. Wait. Oh, he's after him. Yeah. See, See all the, time, the... the times are very close as well. Between yeah. The and the deers, Maybe they're like just mates and they're just yeah. playing a bit of hide and seek. You know what I mean? There's no time to tell like like that, 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 the What the, I thought that was a panda there, yeah? No, it's, the it's the badger. Deeks at him. Do, 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 do. I still think the walk really can play. There's a fox there. In the daylight. Aye. Is that a badger? Badger butt. Aye. <laughs> nice one, though. Deer. Is he again, eh? Yeah, it's... it's this, this, yeah. Uh, these photos were taken over aye. a period of more than 10 days, so it's kind aye, of yeah, aye, aye. spread it all. Yeah. But the deers and the foxes do seem to be within, like, minutes of each yeah, other. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. Look at this cheeky fella. So this is just a bit further down. Right. So this was... um. Helen put loads of peanuts oh, down. Oh, yeah, I said she was going to tie his creatures out. Right, here we go. So there's obviously, you can, you can smell the peanuts, but yeah, you don't quite know where they are. I think it's somewhere. I'm having the peanuts. Do, 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 do. Oh, oh, get close, get close. Oh, oh, oh. Free oh. scram! <laughs> yep. Nope. Where's it now? Oh, that's the two mice. I don't know if you can see Oh, that. yeah, yeah, oh! The dog after that's yeah. about hot. Hi. Tiny little fellas, isn't it? Where's the, the blackbird back again? Ooh. 
But I'll put this on because I've never oh. seen a black bird dig a hole before. Well, have they got full arms? It must be in good. Well, hang on, I'm just looking on the map. You say digging a hole. Is that not sort of like all sort of, I don't know, for one a bit of way, twigs and leak, you know what I mean? So obviously that's where you get like grubs and things. Yeah, it's definitely digging yeah. through the top of the surface. Yeah, yeah. Isn't it? Hello. Really back. Oh, I've seen now. See this, if you wait. Oh. Hello. Out. See a bird as well. So Aye. Animals quite happily knock around. Aye. Other. Pals, I like to think. Yeah. Well, at least tolerance of one another there, you know. Oh, really? There's peanuts. Aye. Come on, I'm telling you, man. <laughs> you there, Totters, last night. But it is, you know, it is lovely. I mean, as I say, Mark, you know, we've talked about this a lot, but just to, to be able to work in such a location where we've got all this yeah. going on around us, it's absolutely wonderful. So that's the squirrel yeah. getting nuts. Like I said, I think the squirrel and the mice got most of the nuts, though. I just look for one fat squirrel. It's like, <laughs> there he is. <laughs> He's hogged them all, eh? I mean, it might be more than one squirrel. So yeah. Heard some of that. Oh, so, so get a few <laughs> Hello. <laughs> to go for a look. Aye. Directly at the camera. Oh, it's oh. Oh, really scratch about. Yes, yeah, so he's found the nuts now. Right. I think that's why there's so much fox coming back. Just yeah. came into all the nuts we got. Aye. Well, it's, uh, it's you know from a, from their point of view, it's free food. There's no hunting yeah. involved. Protein, you know. Doesn't have to squat about, you know. It's like us getting a, you know, a Deliveroo or an Uber Eats rather than yeah. traipsing up to the to Aldi and then coming back and cooking it. So there's Hello, the is that the deer? Yeah. Is, uh, oh, yes, I know, the dead sort of thing. So this is one of my favourite bits of video coming next. Okay. Oh, well. Time to get them on the road, look at the camera again. Right. And it's off to the side. Then we get a bit of deer bum for a while. Alright, well, it's not with that, you know, that's a weekend. And then it's this last little bit here that I like. <laughs> Take his time. <coughs> right. Oh, hello. Oh, blind me. Oh, wow. He's getting right in, isn't he? Yeah, he definitely saw it. Yeah, I don't know if it's not, it's the summit out of the ordinary. Yeah, the squirrel, look. Is he in the middle there? Is that one? Look? Yes. Oh, sorry. Hello. They just look guilty when you take just a picture, don't they? <laughs> so they look to look. There you go, I should say. Yeah, they're always kind of suspicious of the surroundings. I suppose good. they have to be, don't they, you know? Let's enjoy the peanuts. Aye. See, I'll never have guessed foxes eat peanuts. What's that, you know? I mean, it's not something they'll ever, ever, ever encounter. They'll have the thin nuts, yeah. acorns, things like this. But obviously, they just sniff them out and just like. Oh, this is from heaven, this. You know. So I think this is two different foxes. I think this is a different one. Right. I think this is the older one. It's got more of a longer face. Yeah. Right. Like. But it's fascinating, mate, isn't it? Oh, the last bit of footage on this video is amazing. Aye. Aye. Stay tuned, lads, you have Yeah. Coming up in three <laughs> Oh. So that's him in the daytime. Aye. Thing. That's kind of sort of like a well, half of it. As I said, there was about 10 times as much footage of this yeah. as it trimmed down. It still seems long now trimmed down. Yeah. I've really taken more of it. It's one of the things where you watch it, you think, I can't take that out, it's really good. I, I it? know. Yeah, it's it's very true, that. It's like, how do you sort of pass it down when it's all good footage? Uh... Well, you can hear out, you know, from the thing there, yeah, just how close, close it is to the, to the road. So that's a particular spot there, about well, 15 metres away from the, the road that goes to Scotland. Yeah. And then beyond that, some motorway. Yeah, I'm with you. I'm with you. Don't let us really there. There you go. Yep. I just realised it's not me. It's not me. Aye. It's an impulse. Stinks of fox room there. You're somebody scrunk them off. <laughs> See, at first when I seen the footage, I thought yeah. the fox was coming and getting the squirrels. <laughs> Aye, get up more stitch. And the squirrels are out there. Yeah, they're all realising there's none. No yeah. The deer off to the side. Oh, right? yeah. Why? And then you see him. Um... 
didn't know he was rotten in the tree. Aye. Proper going for it though. Aye, aye. Yeah. Might try and lighten that footage up so you can see that. Yeah, yeah. Well, again, you know, it's just amazing to think it's just within, you know, a few minutes walk from where we actually are yeah. that now, you know, on our grounds, if you will. Well, as you can see, that's three o'clock in the morning. Aye. Yep. See, definitely interested in the cameras. Yeah. I mean, I've seen a fox in the middle of the day here. From, um, well, the, the end of the gate just came out of sort of our bit. I just leapt, boom, boom, boom. Well, we've seen field. three young ones, aye. once on camera. Yeah. So there's three young ones plus a pair of little things. Aye, aye. Oh, so there's, there's the magic, magic again. Book. He's here. Old Brock. He's realised that everyone's had the peanuts aye. and he's gotten out. Yeah, I've heard there's some, there's some, you know, some free gear around here, yeah? And, uh, and some swines... It was all lies. Ah, uh, somebody's met off with it. You know, that stinks of squirrels and foxes around here. They've all, they've all had it and done one. See, I don't even know, like, you know, you get certain animals and they have, like, an area. Yeah. You know what I mean? I wonder what they're the sort of... Print, if you like. The what? The, yeah, the, the, <laughs> the, the animal footprint. Uh, no, but I'm just wondering, like, how far... It might be interesting to find out, you know, how far, like, for instance, a badger will roam from its set, how far oh, yeah, a fox will go, you know. Because we haven't found the, the badger set yet, no. so we don't, we don't know where it is. No. I mean, you know, is it from just a couple hundred yards from where we saw it? Is it two mile away? You know, I don't know how far there. I think the foxes are on our side somewhere. Yeah, much better. So he's trying to scrap some of the stuff. Is that the bad it all, mate? Yeah, you know, you missed the ball, Paul. See, that's You need to get a good early doors. That's definitely an older fox, that one. Aye. You know, I'd say anything, you go to a buffet, you hit it first. Yeah. See, that's the one I like. Pause that for a second. Aye. Look at that. Cowering and look in the distance, the oh, eyes. Oh, yeah, it's. Mm. Aye. So then there's a couple of photos, and then the last, last little bit of video, she's amazingly. So what's happening there? Just, just, mm. It's not too hot, eh? Oh. <laughs> Been told off. Aye. <laughs> it's funny when you hear her, man. Yeah. No, Excellent. That is absolutely yeah, there, it? fantastic. That's brilliant, Mark. Oh, man. I love it. I love it. And I hope you uh, do out there in TV land too as well. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, what I think we'll do now then, Mark, is uh, we'll have a quick bit of the old digs at the screen, peeps, okay. and then it's the final share test, and then up we go. So if there's anybody there, let's see what they've got yeah, to say. Yeah, there's a few coming in there. Oh. So, where's Catherine Tuck, blah, blah, blah. Right, Jeanette Fisher. Hi. No more red panda facts, I think. Oh, a red panda Aye. in a sailor suit. That'd do for me. A red panda suit. It's like a Japanese. <laughs> Look for me on the front page of the paper. <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, yeah, man can. So is that Jeanette dressed as a red panda in a sailor suit? I think uh, so. I think no. red panda in a sailor it's suit. every box is checked, even boxes that didn't know existed. <laughs> and Heather's back in. Imagine a Aye. tipsy panda bear. I could do that I easily. Wonder, I've done it. If it would be like watching a comedy. I it's think so. I mean, it's yeah. Uh, it's, uh, it's already it's already dropped some plates in my imagination. It's all Captain gone on. Tuck, yeah. With, you'll document this squirrel getting fatter as you keep putting out peanuts. I think so. Because Until we have like just a spherical, <laughs> just rolls, a, just rolls the boot. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, and then we, we could have to do a special uh, documentary: squirrel obesity, fact or fiction. And then Catherine can... with foxes will eat anything. Aye. As proven by them eating nuts. Aye, they'll just have scraps. Well, I suppose, aye, you, you know, you would. You live in the wild and that. You yeah, haven't got much choice. Just eat, yeah. It's like eat, eat or die, really, isn't it? Then Jeanette back in with, we should send the footage to Springwatch. They're aye. always on the look for things like this. That's very yeah. that's very true, that. Get on the blow to the BBC, is, man. Is it like um, you'd be afraid to get £150? Aye. Over. Yeah, what we'll, we'll do is just put, no, yeah, put a comedy bit of Benny Hill music over it and a few boring... <laughs> Like that, 250 nick, and we'll go halves. We'll give Jeanette 50 pounds because it was her idea. Yeah. <laughs> There's the weekend then we've money. Got Helen in with great footage this week. Isn't it? Well, Aye, really good. Really good. And, it's, and, and again, Catherine Tuck with oh. Badgers will roam about 2,000 acres. I thought you were going to say miles there, and I was getting the figure. That's a that's a fair that's old a distance, way. isn't it? Well, we've only seen the one badger, we think. We've got two at once. We think it's the same badger we keep yeah. seeing. So it's a bit, we, and we don't, it's, 
we put the cameras out, it doesn't appear every night. Aye. So it's probably got it, like a, I, a different patch each, each, you know what I mean? Yeah. Each night, aye. No, but yeah, just thinking, again, I think we've mentioned it before. Obviously, yes, it's July and that, and we've been doing this since June. But over the year, it'll be really, really interesting to see all the different stuff. You know what yeah. I mean? It'd be lovely to see all that malarkey. You know, when it's like frosty and yeah, stuff like this. Really you know cool. what I mean? Like really, really beautiful. Um, so as we work on the Berks as well, we should get more wildlife. Down yeah, yeah of course. So. But it'd be nice to see it, you know, progressing, you know, through through the whole year. Yeah, and the Helen in with especially love the deer investigating the camera. Aye, yeah, that's a good one. Went right in there, didn't it? I did think about putting like a bit of shaky screen and then like, <laughs> crackling afterwards. I just put some some peanut butter on. The door. <laughs> <laughs> no, good. There we Catherine took with about five miles. Aye, it's still no. You think about it. If you're only this big. Yeah, it's a long It's way. a quite a trek. It's like us travelling like 150 miles or something, isn't it? Just for a scrum. Man, I've done that before. I actually said I don't know. And then this is a bit of a statement from Matthew Beatty. Oh. I will have a good holiday, Smith and Mark. Good man. I, like, I definitely will. Yes. No, you will. I will. You will. And yeah, I'm not jealous at all, Matthew. No. You know? <laughs> no, have a great time, Pop. Have a great time. And then last in. Yeah. Heather Dorvison. Aye. I've seen a few deers in the day at Lowther Caravan Park. Aye. And yeah. In a wood, a few miles away. Nice one, nice one. Beautiful creatures, beautiful. Yeah. I mean, that, it was only about maybe two years ago, Mark. Two or three years ago, and we used to park at the back. And um, you know, I was like, I don't know, about half past eight or whatever, on a sort of frosty morning. Da da da. Gets out, you know, about to go past like the arc cabin, and I just sort of saw something calling me out, and down the sort of that little path, um, just a day, just you know, just standing, and we just sort of, I looked at it, it looked at me, and it's just like, and then it just. I'll say nothing you need to. <laughs> ah, yeah, on your eyes, son. But yeah, it was yeah, a beautiful they, they thing. They seem to come out in like the first hour or two of that. Aye, yeah. So like this time of year, that we've been getting footage from between about six and seven. Yeah, yeah. I mean, obviously, they don't like well, activity. Well, yeah, later you know. in the year, maybe goes to like seven, Aye. eight, eight, nine kind of thing. Aye. No, brilliant. Yeah, cool. And that is it for screen. Excellent. Oh, okay, so I'm just going to finish up with a very few uh, sort of shout-outs, because I'll say most people are here. Uh, I spoke to Sammy this morning, Sammy and David and that. Uh, David was out at Bonus on Solway with uh, Robin, his support on Tuesday. I was there with Adrian on Sunday. Oh, nice one. Uh, we went to and Glass and Moss. You did what? What? We went to Glass and Moss and we had a, then we had a, a picnic by the sea. Picnics, was it? What, did you have any picnic? Uh, I went to Morrison's and got one of them salad boxes. Oh, nice, nice. And then forgot to get a fork. Ah, uh, it's all right, you know, I just live off the land, don't you? Yeah. Um, so that, um, Sammy went to uh, Gretna Gateway. Oh, where she got a few tops and that bit of makeup, you know, a bit of makeup. So she had a good time. Mr. David Smart, my nemesis, as I mentioned earlier, it's his birthday on, um, what do you call it? Wednesday, he's going to be 55. Um, so he's looking forward to that. But also, he's looking forward to tonight because oh. he's going to a Carlisle United home uh, game. Uh, I believe they're playing Chesterfield, the city with the crooked spire. So he's going to have a, a good old time. Uh, new then, Glenn, Glenn, Glenn. I spoke to Glenn briefly. Mm -hmm. Um, and he's just been watching a lot of the Olympics, yeah. So he's really enjoying that. Um, I tried to phone the roads, couldn't get through, but I no, think they're still on holiday. I don't know. Yeah, there's no messages off the roads, yeah. Today, so they're obviously out of, uh, yeah, so out of range. I'll probably watch it back later. So yeah, we'll watch it back later. Hi, Anthony. Hello there. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's that for this week, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we'll be back. I'm trying to think if we've got anything. We need to speak regarding oh, yes. the changes so, in broadcast. So next week, um, on Tuesday, uh, Nick's dining session is usually on at 11 o'clock, but Nick starts botching now on a Tuesday. Ah, that's so right. There won't be any signing next week. No. And from the week after, yeah. we'll be on a Thursday. Okay. So I'll, I'll try and remember to send out yeah. emails on the day so people don't get confused. Yeah. Um. And then when it moves us to a Thursday, we're moving the dancing deal to half ten on a Thursday. Right. And then signing will be eleven. Sign. Right. And then football and sports matics will still be in the afternoon. Yeah, cool. And uh, just to remind people as well, uh the Monday exercise, is it Monday? Uh yes. that was eleven thirty two to twelve is now eleven fifteen to eleven forty five. Um, this next coming week it will be a pre recorded yeah. one. Aye, right, because he's got, he's got a couple of days off, hasn't yeah. he? Cool. Uh, so, I think that's... Which that's... just raised the question, how's he doing botching if he's off? Um, I know exactly how he's doing it. He's going to actually come in and do it, but then 
oh. whip off at uh, at twelve. You know, once he's dropped everybody off, he's away. So yes, there was a conversation about that this morning. Uh, so a big massive thank you to Mark there. Yeah. Um, you, I thank yeah, well, it's, it's always a pleasure, never a chat. Always interesting, never a bother. Everyone at home. Aye. Um, yeah, so until over the Feedman's footprint, I think you were you were meaning to say there, Mark. Um, so until next week, from our big bad selves, uh, keep looking after yourselves, stay safe, enjoy yourselves, have a great week, and goodbye. Bye. Ta-da.